Hello, ladies and gents. I wanted to do a quick little um, practice problem with you on this reading karyotypes worksheet. First thing is you'll notice at the top that I listed the different chromosomal disorders for you and where the problem occurs in the karyotype. So these are here to help you distinguish what kind of disorder is going on in your karyotype. So I'm going to do the first one with you so you have some idea on how to do this on your own. So this is your first karyotype. So for question one, I want to know if this is a male or a female. Well, remember that the sex chromosomes are always the last set, so they're in a box here. And this individual has one X and one tiny little Y chromosome. It's this tiny little Y chromosome that is going to really determine the sex of the individual. If that is present, it is a male. Females would have two large X's. So this individual is indeed a male, so you will simply highlight that word on your answer sheet. Then I want to know what total number of chromosomes does this individual have? So remember if you're normal, you have 46 chromosomes. So you could sit here and count every single chromosome, or we could figure out if this individual is normal or not. So in order to determine if they're normal, they should have two chromosomes in every single spot. And as I look across, I have that. And then with your sex chromosomes, you're just going to have two total. So this individual has a normal karyotype. So they have a normal number of chromosomes, which for humans is 46. And if you didn't remember that, you could actually physically count them all. Then it asks the number of autosomes. But I actually prefer to do the sex chromosomes first. So I'm going to skip down to there. Sex chromosomes is easy because there's only two in the box. There's only two chromosomes in this individual that determines their sex. Now that might be different in other individuals that have disorders in the sex chromosomes like Klinefelter's, Jacob's, or Turner syndrome. Now that I know I have two chromosomes, two out of my 46 are sex chromosomes. That means all the rest are autosomes. Well, 46 minus 2 is 44. So you could figure this out a couple ways. You could do the math in your head that I just did. You could physically count all of your autosomes. Or you could look that you have 1 through 22, so 22 sets, 2 in each of those. That's a 44, okay? Lots of ways to figure out your number of autosomes. But the easiest to me is to subtract your sex chromosomes from your total number of chromosomes. Your total number of chromosomes will also change if there is disorder, like a trisomy is going to have an extra chromosome, and you would have 46. So, does is there a chromosome disorder in this individual? No, there is not. They are normal. And so it says, if so, which? And this one, you don't even have to put anything, because this individual does not, and if your box gets moved, you can just scooch it down. Uh, this individual does not have a chromosomal disorder, okay? So you're going to go on and do the rest of them. Remember to use this at the top to help you out, or you can even use your notes. Good luck, guys. Bye.